these marvelous brains of ours designed for renewal, restoration, and recovery. Engineered for success. That's our topic. Let's begin with Harvey and Irma. Will we ever forget those names? Harvey and Irma were two super hurricanes that slammed the United States coastal regions in September 2017. Harvey pounded Texas with such violence that it put two-thirds of Houston underwater. Irma followed shortly after, bashing Florida, the Caribbeans, and surrounding islands. These hurricanes generated massive winds, relentless rain and flooding, and cost hundreds of billions of dollars in structural damage. More importantly, lives were disrupted and people died. A broken city has two major problems, two major challenges. First, damaged infrastructure, and that leads to another and that is increased vulnerability and weakened defenses. A city like this has lost its ability to prosper and grow. Its broken roads and communication systems have thrown it into survival mode. This causes weakened defenses. The city is now vulnerable to vandalism and violence. God often uses the things that we can see to help us to understand the things that we cannot see. Notice this vivid comparison of just such a city with mankind in his broken condition. A person without self-control is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Rebuilding a broken city requires a plan, and so does rebuilding a broken brain. God made your brain capable of physical, mental, and emotional improvement and spiritual renewal. The great news is that you can move forward and continue forward. Whether your brain has been hit by a storm of stress, depression, and negativity, or bad habits. Notice this statement by psychiatrist and author John Rady. By viewing the brain as a muscle that can be strengthened, we can exercise our ability to determine who we become. There are at least five key areas to building a better brain, better thinking, better habits, and a better life. First, get an assessment. Work closely with your physician or healthcare provider. Make sure that you don't have underlying medical conditions that need to be addressed. Next, lifestyle. Lifestyle choices such as nutrition, exercise, and sleep are very powerful for restoring the brain. Your brain is the hardware of your soul, your being. It is the seat of your thinking, emotions, and habits. Diet and lifestyle profoundly affect them all. In fact, many of the fundamental tools for the care and feeding of the brain are everyday matters. Physical and mental exercise, proper nutrition, and adequate sleep will help anyone gain cognitive clarity and emotional stability. Lifestyle choices matter, especially the ones that we repeat every day. Healthy choices like plenty of fresh fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and beans, along with daily exercise, help restore the brain. Remember your environment. Your internal environment is how you think. The way we think about a problem can be more damaging than the problem itself. Cultivating a solutions-based mindset, trust in God, and hope are attitudinal disciplines that require focus, practice, and patience. Your external environment is what you surround yourself with, and it's critical for achieving and maintaining positive change. Managing stress. We all need practical, positive strategies to tap into when confronting challenges and stress. God has provided a lifestyle plan that promotes healthy living and healthy thinking. Experiences, thoughts, and actions, and emotions actually change the structure of the brain. Your brain changes as you learn to trust God, repeat His promises, and control your thoughts and emotions. Connections. Your associations and interests have a profound shaping effect on your values and goals. Social connections provide an opportunity to check in with each other, exchange ideas, and lend a helping hand. A close relationship with God is at the center of mental, physical, and emotional well-being. Research links spiritual well-being with better mental and physical health. Hope. It's the heart of health. 
God wants to renew your heart and fill you with hope and his divine purpose for your life. The Bible says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God has given you the intellect to reason about your existence, the capacity to know him, the ability to experience his love and share it with others. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel. We have been given powerful tools, mental, physical, social, and spiritual for healing these broken brains of ours. Knowing that God's power and guidance are available gives courage and power for the journey. God has engineered you for success, for spiritual renewal, physical restoration, and emotional recovery. When you accept his engineering plan for success, you will never be sorry. Mm -hmm.